Hi, this is Crystal from Triple C Creations Crafty, and we're going to do another Christmas ornament today. Um, getting close to Christmas, but there is still time, and these are items that you may have laying around. So, what you're going to need is a wood shape. Um, you really want a kind of basic shape. I did um, some trees also, and I actually have... have Covered all these trees, so I couldn't use one of them as my demo. Um, but I think a circle will look really cute for what we're going to make, though, in just a second. I also have some old pieces of um, sheet music out of a hem. These are these were falling apart, not that we could actually even use them anymore. There's also lots of free places you can print them off online. Um, if you didn't want to use sheet music, you could also use pieces out of a, um, a book. So there's an idea, or even print off... The Christmas story off um, off your computer um, from any of the Gospels and use parts of that. We could actually read the the verses. That would be that would be good, I think. So I got um, I know I got this shape at the Dollar Tree. Yeah, it was a pack of maybe four or eight. I got eight of them, so I'm not sure if I bought two packs or if there was eight in it. Um, these I ordered a bunch of these. I think off Amazon. Um, just a basic shape. <clears throat> You also need some of these pine stems. Now these came from Hobby Lobby and I believe I got them like 60% off. So I paid, I mean like $1.50 for them. Dollar Tree has some, but the problem is the um, the pine pieces are longer. So if you use those, you'd, you'd wanna trim them up. So, <clears throat> and, and really like you're only gonna need just a couple of inches for each one of these ornaments. Also, in using some of the red um, buffalo plaid gingham ribbon from the Dollar Tree and some jute twine. Uh, I don't think this came from the Dollar Tree. I, I do have a roll that's from the Dollar Tree. This, though, I've had, honestly, for years. Um, it probably came from Walmart. It was a big roll. Um, but Dollar Tree does have it also. And then some Mod Podge. This I believe this bottle did come from the Dollar Tree. Also, the, the brush that I'm using and let's see what else glue gun hot glue gun so to start off and i've got some things kind of in different stages so we're not going to be like watching mod podge dry here but i am going to put take my my shape like i said we want a basic shape and i'll talk about why in just a minute so i'm just going to squirt this right onto my shape and i'm going to brush it on it's okay if i get it on on my mat, um, this is actually a Dollar Tree placemat that I like to use. I have a bunch of them that when I do classes, I use them as honestly placemats for people to craft on. I'm gonna take my sheet music, I'm just gonna lay it down. Uh, depending on your ornament, you wanna kinda orient it, or I, I wanted to orient mine at right side up and kinda look at what you're gonna be able to see. And then let's put another layer on top. So I just made sure I pressed it down all the way around, got all the air bubbles out, and then I'm putting another layer on top, just covering the shape, not necessarily covering the paper, but covering the shape that's underneath. You can kind of see it. Okay, and we'll set that aside to dry. All right, then, got some Mod Podge there. I don't wanna get that on my next one. Then, let's look at one that has already dried. So this was a Christmas tree, and I put the Mod Podge on, put the songbook on, or the uh, sheet music on, another layer of Mod Podge. And then I just took my scissors, and I'm gonna trim as close as I can um, kind of around this. Now, when I first started this, I was gonna try the method that people do with napkins. And if you've not seen that method, it's really cool. Um, we take a lighter and it will burn all the way up to the edge of your your wooden shape um and i tried that and it it worked all right but it didn't get real close to my shape so i um and i have to go outside to do that i'm not i'm not gonna do it inside right now not yet um so i just got my sanding block from probably honestly from the dollar tree dollar, dollar tree has these whether this that's where this one came from and I'm just gonna start um, sanding around my ornament and watch what happens to my paper. It just breaks off because it's kind of brittle where I've got that glue on it, it just kind of breaks off. And 
that's what I did around these. Um, this was a tree. It wasn't, you know, that simple of a shape. But to do one, it really does not take that long. And then you kind of get that nice, um, worn look around the edges. So let me show you one that I have already done. So if you see any rough places, you can kind of had to be a little careful. You could even use an emery, emery board around some detailed pieces like this. I took my wooden pick um, that I used to weed vinyl and just uh, poked a hole through. And now this next step is optional, but I have a set of these uh, wood repair markers. These, my son says these come from Hobby Lobby. I honestly don't remember. Dollar Tree does have something similar, but you can take one of these. Now, if you're a, if you're a stamper, you can also use your ink pads and do some ink blending around the edges. But honestly, I just took one of these and where I have sanded, you can kind of see the um, the paper around there. And you just take one of these and go around the edge, kind of finishes off the edge and it will kind of, kind of bleed over onto your paper. I would definitely use like your lightest one here. makes it look a little worn around the edge. And like I said, this is optional. Top, you're not going to be able to see a whole lot of the top, so I actually knocked some of my paper off there. That's okay. I'm not worried about it. It's supposed to look old and, and worn, so there we go. Got a little bit on my fingers. That's okay. I'm just wiping off the excess. So there's that, and then I'm gonna take my pine stems, and I just snip these, and you're gonna have to have some kind of like heavy duty wire cutters. Um, my husband, <laughs> he finally gave up and just gave me these, um, but something that'll cut wire, and I cut these a little over an inch long, and I, I tried it before just doing one like longer and bending it in half, but I didn't get the, um, my, my little, pine needles weren't facing the direction I wanted. So I started doing two pieces. And then um, my red gingham ribbon, I've got about 12 inches here and I just tied it into a bow. Okay. And then I've got a little piece of jute. This is about 12 inches also. So hot glue gun ready. Add some hot glue here at the top. You know what? I should have put my string through first. And your length on this is kind of whatever your preference is. put my little red bow at the top. Like I said, you're not really going to see um, that star very much. And there it is. So, um, you know, I said use a kind of a basic shape because you are going to be going around it with a sanding block. You don't want to take forever and have a lot of little pieces to do. Um, I'm thinking my round ones will end up looking kind of like ornaments, which I still think will be very pretty. I don't have a hole in these. I could either... Um, drill a little hole in it, or probably I'm just gonna hot glue the string onto the back. Now, I had thought that if the burning technique worked, it would be really cool to do snowflakes, um, but I didn't, wasn't real happy with the burning technique, so I'm probably not gonna do the snowflakes. But, hey, if you try it, let me know. I'd like to, to see what you do. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please like my video, and if you've not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. See you later. Merry Christmas.